Welcome to this look at tip top new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Sealy P. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday the 20th of February. We've got some new mods. We don't have any updates today, or none that I've seen anyway. Uh, so I'm going to get straight on with it. In front of me, we've got the Lizard Mower. This is by Kyoxi LS, 3.62 megabytes download, one slot on console, two meters wide. Three point link mounted, I think it only requires 25 horsepower. Pretty sure that's all it was. If we go down to our mowers, third one in, 25 horsepower, slot count comes down to one, two meters wide. We can change the main color to anything on that palette. There's a few to choose from. Whatever you should desire. Turn it on. Drop it down, roller touches the floor, and it moves. Nice, straightforward, easy one to get cracking with. Don't worry, they get more complicated. <laughs> Mistakes will be made. You know me, it happens. That's the first one out the way, anyway. That's the Lizard Mower. Whoa. The Lizard Mower by Kirksai LS. Over here, we have got the Lizard Manure Crane by Leo Leo. Deus Vault and Rockstar, 9.27 megabytes download. Uh, three slots, 2,000 to buy. This is actually cool. The animation, this is brilliant as well. This is designed for small farm work. It's, it's an old school bit of machinery. Um, and when you've been mucking out your animals, you've got a pile of manure, and the crane will load that manure into a trailer or into a muck spreader to send it off. Under build mode, under tools is where you'll find it. I say it, there are two. There's a red one and a blue one. Same price, slot count comes down to one from three. You don't get any option to change the colour once you go to place it. You've got, like I say, the red or blue. Now, don't panic. When you go to place it, it will just show the base plate like that, which can be rotated. As soon as you press to purchase it, the crane will appear. Um, and it doesn't actually matter too much where you place it because you can rotate the crane around anyway. So we enter the vehicle, like so. And then L1, right stick side to side. And right stick up and down winds the hand as well. I love that. That is so cool. Now, there's no extension on this. So this is realistically, wherever you, your manure pile is, you've got, you can put it as far out as that will go. And if I put it down, it should start filling up. There we go. And then if we go um, L1, R1 and close it. And we've got a full one, but we lift it up. Rotate it around. Put it over our trailer. This action cannot be performed here. I haven't asked it to do any action. And there we go. Unload into our trailer. But I say, I, I, I really do like the animation on that. And the sound effect. We can do first person as well. So we can look around, but then L1. So like I say, the only downside being, because you can't bring that, that pole doesn't come in or out, you are actually fairly limited to where you can get from your pile. But anyway. That's your manure crane um, by Leo Leo, Deus Vault, and Rockstar. Next, this is impressive. I might, I might even put this on the thumbnail as part of the title. Stunning riding stable, just stunning stable. This is incredible. So this is the riding stable by VX Mapping. 24.88 megabyte, megabytes to download. It will hold 16 horses, 49 slots, 250,000 to buy. It will earn you 1,512 per calendar month. It does say per day, but depends what days you're set on. Um, the options on this for placing is fairly standard. Build mode, we go to our animals, go to our horses, and it's just there. Slot count will come down to, what is it, 3 from 49. And you think 49, that's pretty high? It is, but there's a very good reason. There's no colour option on it when you place it, but... 
we've got lots of doors and stuff that open. Everything, if you've got your um, icons switched on, you can see where all the switches are for lighting and stuff like that. Now, I'm going to show you the inside here. So this is your training area. It's open, it's clear. I mean, you could buy this, and when you're not riding any horses, you could use it as a big barn if you wanted to. What's great is you've got seating at the back as well, which is absolutely brilliant. Now, if we come over to the side here, we've got more lighting there. This one here says close the shutters. Like that. Or safe and better, though. If the weather's inclement, let's just say that for the moment. Um, if we jump the little thing here. So this here. Deploy the awning. This, I mean, it is very, very cool. Now, you might be wondering, well, if the weather's inclement, why are you deploying an awning over something... I mean, there's, there's nothing here, it's just an open area. But if you did that, you've doubled the size of your garage. <laughs> if you want to use it as a garage, like I say, you don't have to use it as a stable. Dialogue box is just here for your 16 horses. I think I've got four in here at the moment. And they are in the side bit here. The gate does open. The doors do open at the sides here. So they get in and out. And then we have got in here, we have got more lighting. I'm sure there was another light switch. But if we come around the side... I'm going to close that gate. And in here, we've got a feed point. There we go. Turn on shed lights. Um, does that one open? There we go. So we can open the gates there, but this one here. And as if that's not enough, which is pretty cool, I think these open as well. So we can get in and out. You can, you know, you can go to your heart's content with... Um, sort of immersion with the whole thing now it does say for storage i think it's something like forty thousand liters of straw for bedding Eighty thousand liters of feed i think it does manure as well might be eighty thousand liters of manure so it will do manure as well feed point is here and then we've got a little sort of clubhouse bit here with a door a couple of sofas a little bit more lighting here tv to sit and watch when you're waiting but this is where it gets very cool as if it's not cool enough already. So we come to here, we've got install obstacles, we've got install flags, and we've got install the barriers. If I do that, all the equipment here goes. I can put it back again, put it away, like that. But let's do that, let's do that, and let's do that. So all the equipment that's in here has now been deployed. And you'll see why the awning is important. Um, how did that horse get in there? I thought it was over the other side. Um, there is a thing for collisions as well. It does say on PC there's a mod, but on console there's an option to remove them. So you can see now the awning covers this area out here. This is where the barriers come out to. So the awning comes right out and covers where the barriers are once you put those out. Then inside we've got our flags, we've got our obstacles... So like I say, you can use it for riding, for training your horses. If you want to, you can take your horses off, ride around the countryside. And if you just wanted to use this as a cavernous storage facility for your vehicles and machinery, you can put all this stuff away. I think it's a brilliant option. Which one of these was it over here? One of these gave us an option for... That was shutters. Here we are. So this is reset box collisions. So you've got remove collisions from boxes or reset box collisions. That's for bringing the, ha the horses in and out. If you're finding you've, you've got collisions on the horse boxes inside, you can remove them. There is a PC mod that allows you to do that, but that's for the console version. And like I say, I just I think it's it's one of the better, if not the best, riding stable I've come across on the mods for the options and all the stuff it does with the shutters and the yawning and everything else. It's brilliant. Anyway, taking far too long on that. That's by VX Mapping. Next, we've got these. Uh, now, this is a weird one. I say, that's not a weird one. Um, this is the Lizard Calf Huts by Mr. Hector. 9.06 megabytes download, six slots each. Now, it says, makes sense with compatible maps or mods. So, on PC, with the various different mods that are available. But on console, you need to be on a compatible map. A map that allows calves. 
As you can see, I have got two cows in here because I'm on a map that's not compatible with calves. And as you can see on this one, the cows are very large in there. You can put them in there. It will work. No problem at all. If you want a small little... Or if you want one... The problem is for this one, if you put a cow in here on a map that's not compatible, the cow is huge. It just doesn't work. It doesn't look right at all. So these are for calves. Bally Spring is one. I'm trying to think. There's a few different maps now that have calves and stuff available. I think Mason County does... There's a few. Um, but if not, like I say, you can. This one will do a single calf. This one will do five calves or cows. Dialogue box at the front here. I've got two out of five in there. You can imagine having five cows in there, but like I say, it's supposed to be for calves. Feed and um, water box is there. Then to the side, we've got this. This will produce manure. Well, they won't produce milk. They won't produce slurry, but they will produce manure. Um, and when you want to clean them out, they have to be cleaned manually. So if you press remove fence... It does that, slides that all away, you can clean up the manure, and then you can put the fence back again, and carry on. Same with this one. I don't know what will happen with the cow. I'm assuming the cow will just stay outside, yeah. So, yeah, you can just clean up the manure, and away you go. Under build mode, under animals and the cows, out there. So, 500 for the single. And then you've got 1,500 for the capacity fives. You've got a left orientated and a right orientated. And that is which way around or which side your triggers and stuff are. You can see with that one where the manure would be if you've got manure. Kind of puts it out on there anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, fairly straightforward. I don't know, was there? No, I'm just saying, suddenly it thought. There wasn't a colour option on those, was there? No, nope, you get them just like that. So yeah, like I say, they will work, but you, if you want to do calves properly, you want to be on a compatible map. Um, that's the Lizard Calf Hut by Mr Hector. Next, over here, we have got the Heated Wash Bay. This by Missy B. 1.3 megabytes download, 8 slots, 45,000 to buy. There is a colour option on this. Door opens either end. Drive your vehicles in. We do have lighting just here. So we can turn on or off our shed lights. Um, the actual jet wash is there, but the trigger is just in a little bit. There you go. For our jet wash for our vehicles. Let's go back to there to turn that back off again. Open the door the other end. If you want to drive straight through. If you're running it as a tractor wash business somewhere. Have them queuing up one end, straight through and out the other side. Under build mode. And uh, this was tools as well, I think just there heated wash bay if i turn that sideways around into the light a little bit we go across on our d-pad you can see the different color options there you go for that the heated wash bay by missy b next we've got the ferrisin ferrisan i always say it wrong i say ferrisin but um, but I do like this. this is cool. There are some cracking mods today, some really good mods. Self-propelled feed mixer, mixer wagon. You will find it under vehicles and under animals. Now, we have got the standard version, which is just there. Same price. Slot count, I think, is one more on this one. It's 8.56 megabytes download, uh, 15 slots, um, 26,000 litre capacity. So that one's 14 slots, this one, yeah, one slot more. This by Sebastiano's Studio, uh, Zio Ficus and Ramon, I think it is. Um, difference between the standard one and this one, we've got a load more options, that's all. I say that's all. <laughs> we've got Continental, we've got Vredestein, we've got, oh, is it just those two? I'm, it's one of those days, there's quite a few different mods with different options, and I'm confusing them already. It's not a good start, is it? Continental and Vredestein. Vredestein just has that. Continental, standard, wide, wide two. That's an interesting one. The wide two, that's really small, isn't it? I think I went with that one. You've got halogen lights or LEDs. You've got work light standard or you've got hella LEDs. Then we've got design standard. You've got milk, like that. You've got wrap, cow, and back to standard. The main colour, so if you go for that, that's obviously white, but there you go. So you can have that one as a kind of cow wrap if you want to go that way around. Um, if you do that, and then go back down to that and put it on one of the others. 
I went for white because it just stood out a little bit better. Or well, you don't have to have it on there at all. Of course you don't. Take it off completely. Go back to the standard colour and just have it like that if you want. And license plate option on there as well. So, we'll hop in, start it up. We'll have a look at this lighting package. There's our LEDs on the front, the hell LEDs. We've got beacon as well. Because it is self propelled, we have got the arm that will go up and down so you can rake up and down your silage clamp. Or if you're picking up loose in the floor, that kind of thing. Now, if I recall correctly, I'm probably going to get this wrong as well. Uh, we do have the option to tip side left, tip side right. That's the conveyor belt there at the waist or there at the back. And what normally happens is, I'm sure, and I haven't used one of these in ages, uh, unfold the mix wagon, there we go. I'm sure we can take from bales, because I know you can do it loose, you can do it from a silage clamp, usually. There we go. So if you've got bales, you can just crunch your way through a bale. And then, obviously, on the left-hand side, you can see your mix. You can gradually work your way up to whatever mix you need. Get a bit of hay in there as well. Once you've got all three. Get the straw down so they're all in the green. There we go. We have total mix ration. And let's say however you want to do it you can tip into it you can go to, to buy anything silo you, you know however you want to do you can tip products in you can drop bales in you don't have to use the front thing but if you've got a self-propelled one and you have got that to do it you might as well then unloading actually you know what we'll do what we on tip side left since we're here Oh, so I feed the cows I've got in there. And there you go. That's the Farasin PF 2.26. I didn't even say that, but 2.26 uh, by Sebastiano's Studio, Zyophicus, and Ramon. Next, we have got the Anthem. This is the Anthem 6x4 pack by Farm Mods TV. Now, initially, I thought this was just another revamp of the standard in game one, but it's a little bit more to this one as well. 13.46 megabytes download, 24 slots on console. And as you can see, we have got three variants with varying options. As you can see, with the cowlings and things like that, we can add on fairings. Fairings? Anywho. Under vehicles and trucks. So the standard in-game version is that one there, the Anthem 6x4. Options on that one are, I mean, you've got day cab, like that. You've got those options. But this one, if we go a bit further over to here. So we have got configuration standard. We've got a grain truck at 19,000 litres. We've got a tanker at 15,000 litres. And we've got a low loader option as well. Now... The options will be different. So you've got your standard one, which has got your fifth wheel on there. So if you're going to pull regular trailers, that's also you know, that's an option. Engine, we've got 425, 455, 505 horsepower. Wheel set up, we've got standard, standard two. Those are the two options. Hood mirrors, yes or no. And then design standard, one, two, three, back again. So those options, but depending on what you're using, you will only get to this option. You won't get that one or that one if you've got these different backs on. So if we go for the grain truck or the tanker, and I think for the low loader as well, if I go down to these options now, you've got that, that, those are the only two. You can't go any further back because those obviously are in the way. So just so you're aware of that, if you particularly wanted those options. Uh, so we take that back to that, for example. We've got attaches, yes or no. So you can have rear trailer hitch on there as well if you want it. Main colour does the main colour of the cab. Rim colour, we'll do the rim colour. And licence plate option as well. But which one had it? If we go for the tanker, you can't change the colour. The grain truck, you can't change the colour of. If we go to low loader, it then gives us a beacons option. And the beacons option is around the back here. So we've got no, we've got beacon one, beacon two, beacon three, and back off again. That's on the low loader version. So 
those are our options now what i will say is this one when you load it up the front axle the cab everything drops right down to the suspension that's sitting very low i initially put rocks in it i thought it could be just rocks it doesn't matter 19,000 liters once it's full that will drop right down We have got the option for tip side back or tip side grain door. Interior. The interior is the same on all three. I say it's just the backs that are different, really. You can see it's very. Um, there's, there's not much suspension travel because it's weighted down a lot. Unload. like so that's the first one second one i've gone for the fairing on there i'm going to say fairing i'm sure it is Fifteen thousand liters now i had a problem with this that's a problem i couldn't get this to fill up from a buy anything silo so i tried a few different things i went to the refueling point here on the map to, to put fuel in it and it wouldn't allow me to put fuel in it i went to a water point to put water in it and it wouldn't let me put water in it so what I then did was bought an IBC of liquid fertiliser and it filled from the IBC but I couldn't get it to fill from set points on the map so maybe it will only fill from like containers, IBCs, that kind of thing um, which seems a bit strange and I thought initially because I was trying to fill from a buy anything silo because that's a mod so I went to one of the standalone points on the map for buying fuel, one for buying water and it wouldn't let me so it may be a bit finicky with where you can actually refill it from. If it scrolls across, will it tell us? It says it does water, says it does milk, herbicide, liquid fertilizer. It says it does methane as well, but I, like I say, I couldn't get it slurry as well and digestate. Um, so it could just be potentially the points I was trying to buy it from could be the map or it could be a problem with the tanker itself i'm not saying for definite but just be aware of it and then we have the low loader as you can see we've got a tractor on here already this doesn't have tension straps which worried me but i found i put the tractor on i drove it i got up to speed i jammed the anchors on it didn't move so i'm assuming once that back is up once it's on you've got a locking script on there it seems to be a locking script oh now it says that and it starts moving brilliant it was pretty good. I mean, obviously, you're not going to drive like a lunatic. You shouldn't be cornering at 60 miles an hour or anything like that. Um, but it doesn't have tension straps, so that's something to be aware of. If you've gone for the beacon on the back, there's your beacon. If we unfold, it'll do that. So the other thing to be aware of, it sits quite high. So the ramps, when they come down, it's quite a steep angle. So depending on what you're going to try and get onto there, you can bottom out on this bit here, depending on what you're trying to put it on. The tractors and stuff, it should be okay. <laughs> no plan survives contact with Mr. City B. So there you go. That's the Anthem 6x4 pack by Farm Mods TV. Next. We've got this, the Liebherr L580 by Kenny456, 17.8 megabytes download, 17 slots for the first one. We've got a couple of different options on this. So it is the 580 wheel loader with log grapple equipment on it, and you can have the option to have the um, shipping container grab on this as well, which has tension straps, so you can, you can probably pick up other things. I haven't tried other things, but I know what people are like. They'll go off and try all sorts of crazy stuff. I mean, I wonder... Hmm. So now I'm already thinking, I wonder if I could just use that over the top of a pile of logs and put the tension straps on. Would it pick them up? Hmm, maybe. Let's have a try off camera. Anyway, very nice looking mod with a few different options to choose from. This you will find under forestry machines. 280,000 for the base model, which isn't too bad at all. Slot count comes down to one. So options on this, we've got log grapple fixed, which has got a, um, a hydraulic ram on the front section. You got hydraulic, sorry, you've got log grapple dangle, which doesn't have that and sort of moves freely. With that option fixed, you have got the option to manually adjust the side to side movement and forwards and back movement of the grapple. In dangle, you don't have that option. And then we go from that to the container grab. So those are the three options on that section. We've got under wheels, we've got big AT, 
Nokian, Trelleborg, Continental, Fredestein, Midas, Michelin, back again. The only one that does have an alternate option is under Continental. We've got Standard, Standard 2, and back again. Now, this is our options. It does say for um, it's auto tilt, side to side. You've got yes and no, and you've got forward and backwards. So, is that the wrong way around? I just read those the wrong way around. Um, but they are auto tilt options you can turn on or off. Uh, we've got indoor camera. And that's for movement rotation of the indoor camera. Uh, control type, now you've got crane or front loader. So if you don't like the crane movement that you normally get with cranes, stick it on front loader and it will operate pretty much like the, just with the front loader controls, really, um, which does make life a little bit easier. But again, it depends, you know, pick and choose. Have a fiddle around with it. You can always take it back to a workshop or a toolbox and change it and fiddle around until you find what you like. So, colour options. Let's go for something that stands out. So main colour, we'll change all of that, which is now blue. Main colour 2, we'll do all of that. Cab colour, we'll do, you've guessed it, the cab. Rim colour, anything on that palette as well. And then licence plate option on there too. So, this one I went with fixed. That one I went with dangle. And that one I went with the uh, container, as you can see. And I did go for different options on this one's front loader controls. So L1, right stick up and down and side to side. So we can go right the way up, then right the way out to adjust our reach. Like that. Then uh, R1, right stick side to side. So as I said, if you've got it fixed, you can manually adjust that tilt and you can adjust your tilt forwards and backwards as well. If you've gone for the fixed option. Then L1, R1. Left stick side to side doesn't work on these two. But it does work on the container one. Um, we've got rotation of the grab. And we've got opening and closing of the grab. Like that. Camera options. We've got that option there. That option to the side and back again. Oh, that's what I was saying. When we move our cab, look. Sometimes in a cab you've only got a side-to-side -side option. Sometimes it tilts side-to-side, -side, but we've got all round, which is very nice indeed. Right. I'm just thinking whether or not I'm going to try this on this one, because I'm going to try that crane thing on the other one. I'm, I'm just very conscious of time. I've got quite a few more mods to have a look at. I'm always... I, I don't like showing off forestry mods on mod reviews because they never work out how you want them to. That being said, I'll take that. That'll do very nicely. Oh, <laughs> didn't quite get in the middle, but that's fine. It doesn't matter. As you can see, it does work. So, jump out of that one. This one you'll see, because we don't have that fixed support. Oh, and this one I went for crane control rather than front loader control. So the options are different. That's my control up and down. That's my control for that. And as you can see, the whole thing's swinging around. I haven't got any manual adjustment of that other than when I get to this. I've still got that and that. I've still got that and that, but it is a bit more free moving. The other thing I've got to show on the other one, if I change control group from this to the next one, you've got control group blade which allows you to raise or lower the blade so you can sit that on it and get yourself in a fixed position which is a bit more stable if you want to, you don't have to so that's for that one and then if we go over to this one we've got a lot of different options for control on this one so this one I've gone, this was crane control as well so we've got our up and down like that and that we have got tension straps on this one I'm going to do As you've just seen, the Leaper L580 by Kenny456 may have a problem. That's where it ended up. And the same as it always goes, as I was saying with the other mod. I did all the crane controls, I did all the movement, I did everything off camera. So I knew how it all moved and how it all worked. 
first movement I tried to do and it catapulted me around the map. Now, bear in mind, we're over here and I'm doing my recording over by the tower. This is where we end up. You know what? I've reset it. I felt, I felt like I was doing a disservice. I'm going to show the controls anyway. Um, so, under L1 and right stick side to side, we've got tilt that way. Forwards and backwards, we'll do that. If I've got this on crane control type, not front loader. R1, we've got that tilt forwards and backwards and then up and down sorry side to side and up and down like that and L1 R1 we've got that movement open it up like that you can see the tension straps there become available and then um, L1 R1 and left stick side to side we can right, slide the whole rack over so if you get to your container and you're not quite in position you haven't got to reposition the entire vehicle you just reposition that. I want you down onto it. You place it where you want it. And away you go. I'm going to whiz out very quickly because I'm curious about the logs. I've never tried it with any of the other ones. And I'm wondering now whether this is going to... Um, <laughs> whether this will catapult again. I hope not. So I'm just curious, that's all. Do that, that. It shouldn't do, it should only work on containers, I can't imagine. Two tension straps. <laughs> it does. I've never tried that before. That's pretty cool, if you're going to be doing longer logs. So I'm glad I didn't just leave that stuck over there. But no, I'm going to reset it. I'm going to show you. So that's the controls. It will work with logs as well. That's pretty cool. Um, so that's where I'll be. That's the Liebherr L580 by Kenny456. Next, we've got the old garage. This is by Cressic. This is 13.03 megabytes download. So I'm going to speed up now. Um, five slots, 20,000 to buy. Under build mode and sheds is where you will find it. Just there. Slot count comes under one. No color options. No lighting. Nicely made and detailed, nicely weathered. Three-door garage, quite low. You're only going to get fairly small vehicles, pickups, small tractors, that kind of thing in here. Or you might want to use it for storage, for pallets and that kind of stuff. It's entirely up to you. Um, but that's the uh, old garage by Cressic. Next, we've got these. This is the FH Livestock Trailer. There are two sets of three in here. Um, this is by Nasif Modding, 32.6 megabytes download. Slot counts, I'm going to say them now, then when you see them, 7, 7, 6, 8, 8 and 7. It'll make more sense in a minute. We've got a single deck, we've got a double deck. The difference between each of them comes down to the wheel placement, the axle placement. Other than that, all the other options are exactly the same on them. There are no doors or anything open. What I will say is I have noticed, if you go for the side impact, bars it seems to have it seems a bit pixelated it looks like there's a an image or something it's difficult to tell um but they're not c as clean as i thought they might be i don't know what's causing that um it could, it could be the mod needs a tweak or an update so you'll find these under animals under animal transport so as i said we start there we've got the 2015 l the 2013 l the 2012 l so the 2015L has got two double axles. The 2013 has got a front single and a double at the back. And then that one has got two singles. If you go for the double deckers, which are these ones here, the 2017, 2014, 2016. Again, two double axles. That one front single, rear double. And that one front single, split, rear, double. Um, but other than that, the options are the same on all of them. The difference is... On the smaller ones, these will hold 12 cows, 17 pigs, 16 sheep. The doubles will hold 24 cows, 34 pigs, and 32 sheep. They don't do horses. Um, so like I say, the options are the same on all of them. I'll show you that on a double stack one, just so you can see. So side guards, we've got standard. We've got the side guards on. You can have design two, which puts toolboxes. Design three puts a little tank. Don't it's water tanks or air tanks. And then back again. Spare wheel, yes or no goes underneath. Now if I go back to that and take that off, you can just have the spare wheel it's got toolboxes and stuff under there. So it depends whether you want the side guards and all the other paraphernalia. Chassis colour, anything on that palette. 
like that. Main colour will do, and you've got a whole load of choose from that goes through to metallics, pink plastic, galvanised pink. You've got coppers. Let's go for something that stands out a bit. Let's go for galvanised. There we go. Main colour does the panels, and then the outer sections, if I go down to that one main colour, I'm going to go down to one of these because it's more metallic, galvanised grey. Those sections on the end and the bars that run across each one, you can change the colour of those. If I now go for something on there that stands out a bit more, let's go for an orange, you'll see them. There we go. I say stands out a bit more. It kind of does. Um, then we come down to there, we've got rim colour and we've got a licence plate option on there as well. And like I say, that is the same on all of them. Um, once you've hooked up, like I say, there's no doors or anything that open. Once you get, you get to the purchase point, the livestock market, animal dealer, it will give the option to load them up. You load them up, take them to where you're going and unload them. There's, like I say, there's, I thought there might be a rear door or a ramp that came down or something like that, but um, there isn't. You see this one, I've got pigs in, 34, and I've got 12 cows in the other one. Swi swivel front axle. Sorry about that. Farm dog started barking. We had a knock at the door. Um, and there you go. Swivel front axle. And away you go. Seems fairly stable, considering it's quite tall. Again, you don't try and corner at silly speeds. And you should be absolutely fine. Potentially. That's the FH Livestock Trailer by Nazif Modding. Next, we've got... I've come way past it now. I've driven too far away. We've got the Brewery Street Master 30 Cotter... Cotter? Cotty? No. I'm never quite sure. I think it's Cotter. TSA 30. Um, it's the same one, but you've got different options. So you can have it as Brewery or Cotter. Um, this is by Vagri. It's 12.23 megabytes download, 10 slots on console, 30,000 litre capacity. It is a slurry tanker for taking out. It's not a slurry spreader. So you can take this out, refill, or you can refill from it. It's entirely up to you how you want to go about it. Nicely made and detailed. You have got a, a sighting tube in the front there, so as you're filling up, you can see either how full it is or when it's draining, how much, but obviously it shows in the bottom corner of the screen anyway. This you'll find under slurry tanks on the end, 95,500. We've got the option of Continental, BKT, Michelin, Trelleborg, Vregestein, back again. They all are on a standard tyre apart from BKT. We've got a standard, a wide, a wide two, and back again. Uh, light design, we've got halogen or LED. Uh, where was that on here? It might be around the back. We have got halogen and LED options. Oh, yeah, that's for the um, beacons. Halogen or LED. Then you've got brand design. So you've got the Garand, the cotton design. You've got default brewery, and you've got the Brewery prototype design like that. Now, your lifting axle, yes or no. And then main colour option, anything on that palette for you to choose from. Like, well, that's interesting, round brushed. Uh, you've got the docking funnel colour at the back. I think it's just those two. Oh, no, there's a black as well. Uh, and then we've got the logo. Now, the logo colour will only change if you have got that one on. So, at the moment, it's on white at the front. And we can change that to black or red, but you can't change the other design, only that one. Uh, rim colour, anything on that palette, and a licence plate option on there as well. Um, there's not actually much else to show you on that one. It's, it does say fold and unfold slurry tank, and that might be for filling or being or someone filling from, because I, when I do that, fold or unfold, nothing actually changes. I was looking for a door that opened. There's sort of a little clonk, but I can't can't see or tell what's happening or if anything is changing. But I, I would hazard a guess it's when you're going to fill up something else or someone's going to fill from you. You may need to adjust that so it will let it, allow it access, potentially. Uh, the Brewery Street Master 30 and the Cotter TSA 30 by Vagri. Next, we have got this here. This is Granny's Knitwear by Death's Pledge. It's kind of a spinnery, but it's a spinnery and a tailor's all-in-one, which is quite nice. 0 0.9 megabytes download, 7 slots on console, 5,000 to buy. Under build mode, not that one, under build mode production. 
just there. Slot count will come down to one. There's no colour option on it. When you go to place it, you get it just like that. Our manage point is there. So we can do close wall, close cotton, and close fabric. So it bypasses the need. This one doesn't produce fabric. You can bring your wool, you can bring your cotton, and it will go straight to making clothes. However, if you've got another production that's already making fabric, if, you, if you've got fabric already, you can bring fabric here and make clothes from fabric. So it kind of acts as both. It acts as a spinnery and a tailor's all in one. Um, cycles per month and recipes two to one, a five to three and a five to three. And then we've got 14, uh, uh, sorry, 1,440, 1,200, 1,320 cycles per month. Incoming products and outgoing clothes. Um, I did bring some wool over, just I don't know, not that it matters too much. At the end of the day, you know what uh, clothes boxes look like. If I drop that, that should take you there. He says, there we go. Set that going, and that will start producing. Fairly straightforward, but again, it's one of those ones that two jobs in one, so you can bypass an entire production if you wanted to. Next, we've got this. This is the Lizard SGIC by Senior Vertex and Teak Modding. 13.05 megabytes download, eight slots on console, 3.5, or the maximum is 3.5 meters wide. This is a plow with a few different options on this as well. You can change the color on the edging on the discs and things like that. There's a few different things on here. Uh, Mr. Silly P is uh, assisting. There was one of the options, I, I couldn't tell what it was changing. It's actually these bits in here. You see the bits that are blue? You'll see that in a moment when we uh, when we look through the options. I, I couldn't work out what was changing colour. She spotted it, not me. So, under plows is where you'll find this. Just there. 14 grand for the base model. Slot count comes down to 110 horsepower required. So we've got the option for our tyres. We've got Lizard, Continental, BKT, back to Lizard. Continental and BKT are just those. Under Lizard, we have got Standard, Twin Wheels, Twin Wheels 2, which I think that's the one I went for. You've then got an 18 disc at 2.7 metres, and you've got a 24 disc at 3.5. So we do have a couple of options for width. You've got decals 1 or 2, reflective decals on the back, yes or no. You've then got main colour, anything on this palette, there's quite a few to choose from. Does the, sub, the bulk of the framework secondary color let's pick something like blue that stands out so you can see that there you go does all of that you've then got hub color that's the bits in between a the moment there a silvery color let's go for red so you can see there you go in between we've then got disc borders so these are the edges of the discs if you go for something like metallic black see the edges of the discs disappear kind of if we go for metallic there you go they stand out a little bit. Makes them look like they're worn or sharpened or whichever you want to look at. Then rim colour, again, anything on this palette like so. Those are our options. Now, being a plough, we do have the option to create fields if we want to. So I activate that now and lower the plough. We can create a new field, ex extend an existing field if we want to. I'm going to turn that off, limit to fields. We got into the field. This should bring up stones because it is a plough. Here we go. We have got stones coming up on a section that has stones coming up we go across a bit that has been mulched already it should do the same thing we should get the same process this one just won't bring up stones because the way it's configured nice animation nice bit of dust being kicked up nice solid bit of kit 2.7 or 3.5 meters wide that's the lizard sgic by senior vertex and teak modding next We've got this. This is the Barn with Garage by Clonic. Clonic. 21.49 megabytes download, 11 slots on console, 35,000 to buy another one. Really, really lovely design and detail. There's a real depth to that brickwork. It's weathered really nicely. The panes of glass, everything. It's, yeah, cracking on this. Build mode and sheds, just there. Slot count will come down to one. No colour options on this one either. Nice sound effects and animations. Did I say no lighting? There's no lighting. Got sort of a triple garage here with the smaller one down the very end here. And we've got the main barn 
with door here. This is drive through this one. So we've got a barn door the other side, just here, with a smaller door to the side. We've got a sort of, I say partial hayloft, I don't think it's a hayloft. There is a ladder that goes up to it, so a hayloft up the top there as well. Again, no lighting in the main section either, but I mean, look at that. Moss and stuff inside the tiles. Lovely. Barnwood Garage by Klonek. And then finally, we've got just here the Stara Reboke Ninja 16000 by Farm Centro Soul. 12.38 megabytes download, four slots on console with a 16,000 litre capacity. Before I show you that one, we do have a map out today on console, The Forgotten Lands by Carl TG, 137.61 megabytes download. I will get onto that map tour as soon as possible. That potentially will be tomorrow morning. Um, but yeah, I will get onto that as I always do. So, the Reboke Ninja. This you'll find under auger wagons or chaser bins, however you refer to them. That one just there, 60 grand, 100 horsepower required, slot count comes down to one. Optional is this, we've got a standard and a standard two wheel. Or tyre, should I say, well, both in it, wheel and tyre, I suppose. Um, that's it, those are your options on it. Start it up, pipe out. There's no adjustment on the pipe. Once the pipe is open, it's open. I can't raise or lower the pipe at all. 16,000 litre capacity, auger wagon slash chaser bin. What I will say about this one, that's not something I've often mentioned um, when we look at auger wagons and chaser bins and whatnot, is the height of them. Because if you're unloading into them on a field from a harvester, depending on what harvester you're using, especially if you're using a smaller harvester, the higher the side of the chaser bin, the harder it is to unload into depending on what size you've got. It sits quite high off the ground, I have to say. I mean, not ridiculously high, um, but it's also, it's just something to, to bear in mind. If you're looking for an auger wagon and you're starting out and you've got smaller harvesters, you might need to go for one that sits a bit lower, um, but yeah, it'll do the job. I'm gonna head out to here. And that's it for the mods for Tuesday, the 20th of February. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you wanna share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.